Play action fake. Jefferson wants to throw, and he does. Way downfield, and there's Tolliver, and he's got it. Touchdown! Holy cow! 41 yards. Jefferson on the money to Tolliver. One of the highlights from... The Cotton Bowl as LSU got the victory. That's from the LSU Sports Network. And uh, today, the news is that there's a seven-year extension for their head coach, Les Miles, through 2017 to be at one of the uh, great programs in not just the SEC West, but the country. And joining us now, Subway Fresh Take Hotline, is the head coach there, Les Miles. And, uh, Coach, uh, I know it's been an interesting 72 hours. How, how, how would you best describe what, what the last few days have been like for you? Well, it's, uh, anytime you make a, a decision, it's, uh, it takes time and you consider so many different things and it's, uh, um, you know, it's, uh, the information that you, that you get and that you, you have to understand and, and read. It's a, uh, uh, it, I can say I can say this. Today's a lot better than the last couple of days. Mm-hmm. Understand that, and I also understand from the comments that you've made that, that there's a certain sensitivity, given your affinity for Michigan, to, to not get into a great deal of specifics. But I just, as as best as you can explain, and as comfortable as you feel, Coach, was the Michigan job in, in your discussions with them was it offered to you? Uh, you know, again, I, this is not a a, a piece that I'm going to. You know, in, in deference to, uh, the great school, okay. uh, am I going to really go into? And it's a, uh, um, you know, there's a, uh, uh, there was a lot of information shared, certainly, mm-hmm. uh, um, with the best interest in the University of Michigan in mind. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I, I can tell you that you, you always look, uh, at, at something as, as, uh, as quality as Michigan. And certainly, it, it becomes a, a very, very strong consideration. But uh, I'm uh, again uh, very fortunate to represent a, a great state, a great community, and an unbelievable school. Ultimately, Les, what was most important to you in deciding to remain at LSU? You, you know, it's a uh, uh, the uh, the people that I work for in this building, the, the people that uh, uh, the assistant coaches, uh, the uh, uh, football ops, the uh, weight strength man, the uh, the uh, players that I told that I'd be here for their time, um, the state of Louisiana, and those ninety-two five that fill that stadium. Uh, I, uh, you know, I have to be honest with you. I, I enjoy who I represent, and uh, um, my family being happy and and enjoying the opportunities that the state of Louisiana provides for them. Um, just allowed me to remain consistent uh, to a commitment to these people. Les Miles, head coach of LSU with us, Scott Van Pelt Show, ESPN Radio and ESPNRadio.com. And, uh, coach, I- I'm from the D.C. area. That's where I grew up. I'll always think, when people ask me where you're from, I always say that, and yet it's been a long time since I've been there, and the truth mm-hmm. is I don't know that I'll ever be there again, and that's odd for me because that's where I'm from. Is there some? Is, is there an analogy here that you're a Michigan man, and, and as you go through this process and realize that's always part of who you are, but perhaps that's a place that you'll never be again. But you're all right with that, given that the, 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 the spot you're in in LSU certainly gives you opportunities, as you've already proven, to win national championships. Is that an analogy that makes any sense at all? Yeah, I think it does. It's a uh, you you have a uh, a uh, I am miles from Michigan. I will be you know as, as I was raised, and uh, but uh, um, my fondness, the lessons that I learned, the people that I enjoyed back there. Uh, does not uh, uh, equate to a necessity that I coach there, mm-hmm. and uh, just because I'm loyal and and uh, in care and and recognize that the uh, the uh, the credential of Michigan really has marked my my life. Um, I uh, I can't uh, um, go by the sincerity and the authenticity of the people that I uh, represent. Here in the state of Louisiana, it's just too important. Les Miles with us here on ESPN Radio. Final thought on this is, but before we look forward, you, you described today as being better than the last couple of days. Just, it, it, just in general terms, just how, how difficult is it to, to sort through all of this, given the affinity that you speak of? Well, it's uh, it, it, today. It's uh, it's a beautiful day in Baton Rouge, and, <laughs> and we got a great recruiting class on the board. Yes, you do. And uh, uh, there's a. Uh, 
a need to get this new year started and uh you know get get this uh uh these guys that uh, have taken this break from the cotton bowl to come back to class and you know, get them in the weight room and make sure they're studying and and it it becomes a uh, a new process anytime right. you put a team together it's a brand new process and so today it's a uh, it's a wonderful piece, and uh, I'm very fortunate to be right where I'm at. I don't under, I don't assume that that the immediate the immediate uh, the present day I guess I should say influences a decision that's as, as long term as this is. But at the same time, y'all are loaded, and you mentioned the recruiting class, and I know you can't talk specifically until you sign guys in early February. But given the the win you had over A and M, Jordan Jefferson looking great, bringing back a ton of talent and an infusion of of great talent. Do you do you have a sense that that when you start the season next year and you get off to a great start with Oregon that that this might be a, an opportunity to have a very special season in Baton Rouge? Yeah, I uh, I think we were pretty close this last year, and that's I true. Think there's a I think there's a uh, a hunger that's developed when you get close that uh, it just requires a little more, and uh, I, I think our I think our off season will speak to that. I think the recruiting class certainly will will help. We'll put some guys right in spots where we need them. And, uh, yeah, I think there's a special season out there for us, and it may well be a special season for several years. Um, you know, there's a, a great nucleus here. But, uh, hey, Van Pelt. Yeah, what I do. Somebody told me Uh-oh. that you were going to send me some shoes. And, and you know, I, I just want you to know it's a size 12. And, I was waiting uh, on know, specifics. The, well, the, I'm just saying, you know, I, I sent you, you know, one of my very, uh, um, Thing was beat up, man. The one thing of my was beat stylish, up. one of my stylish examples of footwear, and I was told you were going to do the same. Oh yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to wait till the season was complete because see, if I send it mid season, I know where you focusing on game tape and stuff because you know you got a tough game with Louisiana Monroe or something. You're not even going to open the damn box. So I wanted to wait till the year was done, and now that it's over and I have the proper size, you know, I'm going to send something your way. So. Oh, I'm, I, I am counting on wearing those. Yeah, do you just the example of what just, I should be wearing is what you're sending. Yeah. Well, you know, do you, do, here's right? the question: Do you just want the one, or do you want to, you want the full compliment? Uh, well, you know, you know, I was really just kind of giving you a descriptive view of the shoe, and so I, you know, I would I could comfortably, I you know, probably could have afforded to send you two, but. Uh, um, but the, for me, if you're going to send me something that, that I, I think you better send me two. Yeah, well, I'm going to because I don't and want so, you. And, and, and that'd be a right foot and a left foot. Yes, sir. Certainly. Right, I'm not going to send you two right foot shoes because when I was little, I was pigeon toed, and I had that's a story you don't need to hear. I don't what, understand. Well, I thought Les Miles, LSU head coach, just with a, with a big the world view of the SEC, it, it's astonishing the success the conference has had. Auburn adds to it; it's five years in a row. Four different schools have won titles. Some folks might think you're crazy to stay in such a conference given the difficulty of it, but just how would you describe what, what the challenge uh, the SEC presents to you, not just year in and year out, but literally week in and week out? It's, if you don't enjoy competition, you don't enjoy uh, the uh, the view of great players and, and, and opponents that can beat you, uh, then you don't want in this uh, in this conference because it's every week. And mm-hmm. uh, from, from Mississippi State to, to Alabama, from Florida to, to Georgia, it's... Uh, it's it's pretty easy to find a very very good, very talented, well coached, prepared, uh, competitive team. And generally speaking, that's the next game. Size twelves on uh, on the way. Maybe some flip flops. Maybe I'll send you a, an assortment. Maybe it's, it's off season, so maybe you can get to a beach. I'll send you an assortment of footwear, and we'll uh, we'll compare <laughs> notes later in the spring and make sure it did pass muster. Hey, hey Scott, you have a great New Year. All right, you as well, Coach. We appreciate your time and uh, continued success down there in Baton Rouge. Thank you. LSU head coach Les Miles. All our guests on the Scott Van Pelt Show up here on the subway. Fresh take outline.